Hey, what's up guys? It's Patrick here and today I'm bringing you guys my second clan war recap video. So if you guys saw the first video, we actually lost our first war, I think by like 20 stars and the clan was a little bit unsettled. Some people were pretty mad that we gotten blown out like that. So it was really important that we did well in the second war against the Swedish angels. All right, so looking at this base, I was attacking with cheap pad too. And you can see I brought out his king, his queen, his clan castle troops. And after those guys were destroyed, I went ahead and dropped my hogs on the bottom and I destroyed his entire base. So if you saw my defenseless champion video, I pretty much told all of you guys to start upgrading your hog riders as soon as possible. Uh, because as far as clan wars goes, as long as you're attacking someone who is like below a town hall 10, it should be almost a guaranteed three stars. As long as you have level five hogs, you will be destroying bases because they are just so powerful right now. So I'm hoping to do a guide on it soon, mainly to talk about baiting the king and the queen and the clan castle troops because a lot of people seem to struggle with that. Um, but right now the hogs are extremely powerful and that was a nice three star raid. All right, so looking at the second raid still on my Chief Pat 2 account, this guy is a Town Hall 10, and in general, I don't recommend using the Hog Rider strategy against Town Hall 10s, but because of the fact that this guy isn't that well upgraded, as well as he only has one Inferno Tower, I thought I would be, t be able to take care of him pretty easily, and uh, let's go ahead and see what happens. So I went ahead and baited out his king, his queen, his clan castle troops, took care of those guys extremely easily. I honestly didn't even have to drop my king or my queen, and then after that, I'm just dropping my hogs, and they're tearing apart the base. So there was this one multi-targeted Inferno Tower, and that's why you usually don't attack Town Hall 10s with the Hog Rider strategy, because they do take care of at least like five hogs. Uh, so I lost a couple of hogs right there, but after that went down, it was pretty much smooth sailing, taking care of this mortar, this expo, and this cannon, and uh, yeah, just a couple more defenses, and it was another three star for this raid. So I forgot to tell you guys in the last war on my Cheap Pat 2 account, I did have two three-star battles as well. So currently, I'm a perfect four for four in three-star raids on this account. Uh, but you'll see in the next war, which is actually going on right now, I had a huge fail similar to the one on my main Cheap Pat account. And you guys will have to stay tuned for that. But that'll do it for this raid. Again, another three stars. And at this point, things were looking pretty good for our clan. I did these raids in the very beginning, and I really like raiding with my accounts in the beginning because let's say I get four stars with my main Chief Pat account attacking like the top two bases. And then on this account, or my Chief Pat 2 account, I get another six stars. Uh, that puts us in a really good position and it gets the clan hype. So I like to set the tone for my clan. And maybe that's why the first raid or the first war was such a failure because I forgot my troops. But uh, yeah, things were looking pretty good at this point. And let me go ahead and show off one more raid. So this was the G. He's another one of my clan mates. He was using the balloon minion strategy. This guy's Town Hall 10 was pretty weak and he really didn't have that much air defense. He had his expos pointing upwards, but his wizard towers weren't very well upgraded. His air defense weren't very well, up, very well upgraded. Wow. And then his inferno towers were obviously non-existent. Uh, so it looks like he did a pretty good job in taking care of this base and his balloon's going to take care of most of the defenses. So looking at that last wizard tower, it's actually doing a great job against the minions and the balloons. So he's probably just going to have to rely on his king and queen. But overall, another solid raid. And at this point, we were in the driver's seat. So unlike our first war, uh, where we got down pretty quickly, in this one, the Swedish angels, I think they were sleeping when we started the clan wars. So we started up like 60 stars. I think it was like something like maybe like 55 to like five or something like that, just because they were all sleeping. But then they woke up, they started doing some raids, but overall, uh, it was pretty much smooth sailing from the very beginning. So that was three stars for the G, definitely a great raid. And looking at the final total for Clan Wars, it was definitely an opposite of the last one. We won by 40 stars. So it was pretty much a blowout. Um, it was a good war. They really had a lot of attacks where they couldn't get a single star on our defense, as well as 96 stars for a 45 on 45 Clan War is pretty good. I think we would win the majority of our wars putting up that many stars. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the second Clan War recap video. Currently, we are 1-1, one one, which looks a lot better than 0-1, oh and, and we're definitely on an upswing, so I'm hoping we win this upcoming war, and I'll show you guys the results as soon as possible. That's going to do it for this video. Let me know how you guys are doing in the wars in the comment section below, and other than that, I will see you guys later.